Hello, welcome to number seven, Ministries Christian Outreach. Today's short sermon that is called Chameleon Christians. Chameleon Christians. There's a lot of times in God's word, he will use things of the natural to teach us things of the supernatural. God will use things that we see to teach us about things that we don't see. For an example, in the Proverbs, God talked about the ant. He mentioned how the ant neither has a ruler nor a master, yet it's a faith faithful, hard-working creature that God created. And I believe that's exactly what God is telling us, that we don't have to have a master ruling over us. We don't have to have someone uh, uh, telling us what to do. Uh, for us to do the right thing, for us to work hard, because there should be something inside of us that causes us to want to work hard. There should be something inside of us that causes us to want to do the right thing, and that is the Holy Ghost. When we receive the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will cause us, will compel us, will inspire us to want to do things with all our heart, not do things half-heartedly, not do things uh, just to do them, but to do things with passion, to do them with all your might. And I believe that is pleasing to God. And if you do things for money, if you do things for a reward, it's never going to be worth it. It's never going to be enough to cause you to do the right thing. But if you do things out of the love of God, that is enough for you to unconditionally be a great worker and to be a faithful child of God. Well, the message is chameleon Christians. I want to read this Bible verse, James chapter 4, verse 4. It says, ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enemy with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. Listen to what this Bible verse is saying. It's saying that we can't have both things. We have to make up our mind. We have to make a choice. We have to make a decision. You know, if you play the game Uno, you cannot win at the game of Uno as long as you're holding on to one card. If you're holding on to one card and someone else lets go of everything, that person wins. And I want to tell you as a child of God, it's the exact same way. We have to make a choice to let go of everything. Everything that the world has to offer us, all the things that would fight for our attention, fight for our love, we have to be willing to give those up for the sake of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to tell you it's going to take at least that type of passion to make it in this world. Because with tornadoes, with plagues, with uh, everything that's coming against us, the demons and the natural, the government, all the oppressions that children of God have to deal with, it's going to take a serious passion for God just to make it through this life. Because the more troubles that we go through, the more anointing that we need and the more God we need to follow us through. But God does not want us to be like the animal or the lizard, a chameleon. If you look and study the chameleon like I did, you'll see that a chameleon does not change its colors always just to match the environment. I used to think that a chameleon, it just blends into wherever it's at just so it could be camouflaged. But after studying the chameleon, I learned that there's reasons why the chameleon changes colors. Some of those reasons are so that the chameleon can intimidate other chameleons. I want to know as a Christian, do we do the same thing? Do we intimidate other Christians with our self-righteousness, with our money, with our job, with our ministry? Do we intimidate other Christians? Are we like the chameleon Christian? Another reason why the chameleon changes colors is so that he can attract the opposite gender. The chameleon will change colors to attract the opposite gender. It's like a mating call. He might be green at one moment, but as soon as the opposite gender comes around, he'll turn blue or he'll turn black or green. He'll change his colors to uh, draw the other person. Are we the same way as Christians? Do we lose our salvation as soon as the opposite uh, sex comes around? Do we lose our integrity? Do we all of a sudden blend in or do we change our ways as soon as uh, you know the opposite gender walks by? Or do we maintain 
our faith in God? Do we maintain in our integrity? Do we not compromise with what the world is doing? Because you don't have to blend in as a Christian. As a Christian, you have to be yourself. And whether you blend in or whether you don't blend in, that is not what it's about. It's about staying faithful to Jesus Christ unconditionally. Another reason why the chameleon will change his colors is to show off his stature, to prove how powerful he is, to prove how mighty he is. And I want to say that a lot of times as Christians, we do the exact same thing. We try to show off how powerful we are, how mighty we are. We don't need to do that. The Bible says if you humble yourself, God will exalt you. We don't need to exalt ourselves as Christians. Let God exalt you and humble yourself, and then you'll be in a proper place. You will not be like the chameleon Christian. The next Bible verse I would like to read is Romans chapter 12 verse 2 it says and be ye not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God look at what this verse is saying don't be conformed to the world there's gonna be a time at your work where God is gonna give you an option he's gonna give you an opportunity to make a stand he's gonna put things in your path to test you and to see how true are you to what you say that you are do you proclaim to be a Christian don't worry God is gonna put a test in your path not tempt you but test you and then I also want to say that the devil is gonna put temptations in your path to prove to God that you're not who you say you are. The devil is trying to attack your identity, but I want to tell you that the devil's not going to win. I want to encourage you to maintain your walk with God, regardless of what this world comes to uh, offer you. There's times where your bosses are going to try to get you to compromise. They're going to try to uh, prove, whether they do it intentionally or unintentionally, they're going to try to prove that you're not a Christian, and they're going to do it because they want to feel comfortable for the sin that they're doing and the light that's shining through you will convict them. God bless you and have a wonderful day.